Okay, so hello everyone. I recently had a problem with this vehicle. It just happened earlier today, so I figured I'll share this with you. Maybe you'll encounter the same problem and this video can help you out. So what happened is earlier today, I took this vehicle for a 30 kilometer drive. I stopped there and parked and for at least about an hour. And when I was about to leave and go back, which is another 30 kilometer drive. And when I tried to start the vehicle, it wouldn't start just like this you see that those are the only lights that would turn on and the abs turned on it's blinking see and when i turn the ignition switch on see nothing happens and here on the engine bay there's this sound most probably from the i could sense it here from the glow plug relay and again, when we turn the ignition switch on, see, nothing happens. And the battery seems to be good because we have this indicator here, see. I don't know if you can see that. If it's green, meaning the battery is good, it's got a good charge. And should it turn gray, meaning the battery is bad, it's got a low voltage. Even if we check the battery with a multimeter, see, it says 12.7. So that's actually very good so one might be led to believe that there's a problem with the electronics perhaps a blown fuse or as you have heard earlier perhaps a bad relay or the ignition switch is bad or maybe even a bad starter motor but before we even bother to check all that let's again focus on the battery okay because this okay I'll show you once you see that is a telltale indication of a bad battery. See, let's try to operate the power window. It's very slow, see, and it stopped. So what I suggest you do is, okay, before jumping to conclusions like blaming faults elsewhere, like the fuse or the relays and switch, etc., is try to find yourself a different battery. Maybe you can borrow the battery of your neighbor or in my case, we have this vehicle here. We can try and use this battery. But before we do, let's first ascertain that this battery is in good working condition. Let's try to start this vehicle, okay? And as you can see, it started almost immediately. AC is working, lights are working, okay? Wipers are working. So it's working, no problem with the battery. Let's check the voltage battery. It's got 12.8, see, 12.86. Now, the reason why that is so high, because we just recently started that vehicle, as you've seen, and this is only surface charge. I do believe I already have a video as to discussing surface charge, okay? I don't know, I, I cannot remember which video. But anyway, this battery is good, so let's try and use this. So there it is, and by the way, there is a correct way of disconnecting and connecting your battery, okay? If you want to, you might want to watch this video afterwards. I'll post a link of that in the description below. So anyway, we already have this battery, and let's see if this vehicle will still have the same problem, okay? And as you can see, all the lights turned on almost immediately. Let's see if the power windows work. And it does, see, no problem. Let's try to start the engine. And as you can see, it started almost immediately as well. So we are now sure that this battery is bad. So can we still try to recharge this battery? As far as I'm concerned, the answer is unfortunately no, because as you have seen, the battery has a good charge. If my memory serves me right, I do believe it was 12.7. But why is it not working? Now, the simplest explanation I can give you is that all, if not most of us, can relate to this. It's similar to the battery of our cell phones. I'm sure all, if not most of us, had that experience wherein our battery is still at 100%, maybe 90%, or we just had our cell phones charged, and as soon as we turn it on, okay, 
it dies out almost immediately there's nothing wrong with the phone but the battery is already bad so the same thing that happened here and the culprit is believe it or not the battery terminal especially on the positive side unfortunately came loose when the vehicle did not start earlier i checked it and this unfortunately was loose and that's what ruined this battery okay say hello to my dog see this battery is still as far as i'm concerned i consider this still fairly new as you can see i bought this back in april 19 of 2022 so a little over two years and this battery i bought this back in 2019 see august 13 of 2019 and this battery is still working very well so lesson learned might want to check our battery terminals next time see if it's tight it's snug in order to avoid problems like this so anyway i do believe that's it i just wanted to share this with you because i've seen people diagnose problems incorrectly just because they tested the battery and gives out a good result and they rule out the battery as being the problem and jump to conclusions elsewhere and it will just lead to further confusion and maybe even further expenses expenses that did not be incurred expenses that are unnecessary so i hope this video can help you out i hope you found this informative if you do let me know in the comments below like share subscribe if you want to only if you want to and as always thank you for watching and by the way i'm sorry for the very long absence i intend to make more videos soon again okay thank you and by the way if you're wondering as to how i was able to get home okay uh, we just push started this vehicle. It's actually a very helpful technique to learn. Okay, so anyway, thank you.